at least once a week. Yeah. So we are headed to Hell's Revenge. We just pulled on to Hell's Revenge right here. Our other buddy Mike has his Toyota that has broken out here. So we're going to run out here and get it and bring it back for him. Sounds like he blew the transfer case up, which he just put new stickies on it. Ah, I wonder if there's a correlation here. Well, where where is the vehicle? Um, at the big hot tub. Okay, well that that says a lot. Are, are, how's the equation working out now, Mike? Yeah, yeah. The math and science is all coming together. It's math and very good. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go do this. blue truck the big hot tub and the vehicle we came to recover dude there are some marvels of engineering here propane turbo propane turbo <laughs> that's all i got <laughs> he's gonna spin around back up or actually i don't know what he's doing come around and go that way and then back up Oh, okay, dokie. <laughs> you know. I'm glad that's all become clear. <laughs> so, have you guys ever driven a turbocharged propane injected rock buggy? Negative, Batman. Woohoo! This one has three positions. I'm guessing the middle is neutral. Yeah. And then that one 
same thing, middle, neutral. Yeah, this, this one. This two wheel, four wheel, so that should be two wheel. Two wheel? Okay. Yeah, should be. Should be. Buggy picks up easier than that. Okay, so we tried to carry it out and this big giant stinger on here is just not working with the sling. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna tow it out. It's a super light rig in the rear, so I'm a little concerned about it being welded up and full-time four-wheel drive because if we get into a corner and pulling it, it can like literally pull it over. But we'll uh, we'll take it slow, we'll take it easy and we'll, we'll get out of here. But like I said, we tried some. Now we're trying something different. All you can do, yeah.
is getting a little hot. So the, the funny thing is, is I read the comments and I see everybody there like, you know what you need to do? You need to put a mister system in front of that and uh, a washer fluid reservoir. So what do I do after that gallon's gone? Just keep pouring more water in it? I could just pour water on the radiator. So this is a supercharged engine. Anytime you are compressing air, you are generating heat. This is the entirely wrong engine for this application, for what we're doing. And like I said, when you're driving across the rocks, the rocks, even the dirt is hot. It's probably sitting at 120, 130. Um, and the rocks are probably north of that, 140. So then the heat's emanating up and it's coming right up like this. You're driving across it. It's not getting cool air and you're driving slow anyway. So yeah, it's gonna get hot. Yes, I would like to have an engine driven fan on this. However, an engine driven fan won't fit with the supercharger without redoing everything about the supercharger and all the mounting systems and the accessory drives. And I'm not spending $2,000 on a different accessory drive. We'll just stop and throw some water on it once in a while. It's fine. Or <laughs> I can drive Trail Mater, which never gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, and when you're out on the slick rock, it's even worse. Just hot, just emanating heat. But anyway, we got it out. It's on the trailer. He's gonna look at getting that fixed, maybe upgraded. But uh, yeah, so we're heading back to the shop. I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>